he's, he's, does that mean he's still out there, or, or what? Where was I supposed to hide? Oh, when I went in here, I probably should have shut the door. Until I go completely mental. How do I know if he's gone? It's not a good idea to try and outrun them, obviously, because they're insanely fast. Oh, I'm gonna be moving all wobbly now. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to light up this place. I'm on my knees. I think. Shite. Um, a few cuts and bruises. <laughs> Sanity. Oh. Ah. Well, we still haven't got the key, so uh, there's not much, um, I'll comfort read. I'll comfort read some. <sighs> oh, we got the elevator mach machine instructions. Um, all of those we've come for. Find the key. Huh? Did we find a key in the... In the guest room? Did we? Do we have a key? I don't remember finding any key. Maybe I should go back there. <laughs> so I don't have to be down here. Well, I can't get any worse than dead. Can I? Why the hell would anyone put Only in a game would you put things so far apart. I don't like it. What's this? It's just a rock. No. This is break time. Definitely. <coughs> Hello! Uh, if I sound a bit off, or um, uh, like I have a bit of a cold or something, it's because uh, I've been watching uh, some sad scenes and I've been crying. <sighs> Feels good sometimes. And I had to uh, check out uh, the matter of the key in the guest room. Uh, I missed it, and I know where it is. 
So, question is now, if we want to continue this horrible, horrible section and uh, have fun with that, fun being a relative term in this case, or go back up in the guest room and grab that key. I'm tempted to go into the guest room and grab the key, since I don't like it here, but um, since we moved along this far, this path, maybe we should just go ahead with it. I'm going to check my... Well, not too bad. We're, we're alright. I'm hoping this is a dead end. <laughs> I'm hoping is it is a dead end, but I have to move on further along it anyway. That's a shame. I really would have preferred to uh not having to go for any machine parts. But okay, good enough. We know that's um, a dead end. Let's get these rocks out of the way. Oh! Really? It won't budge. an unstable place with all these all these <sighs> cave-ins. Okay, let's see what the notes say. Not notes. Mementos. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. So... Hindering for the better. Find a way to get through. Let's uh, grab that key. Uh, first thing we do. Uh, I had to check it out, and I know where it is now. I would have. I missed it. Yes. So. Backtrack. For the win. I I hate this place. Tremendously. <laughs> Movies that make me cry. Heaven and Earth. Drama from 1993. My God. It makes me cry and cry and cry. I'm not ashamed to say I am an emotional. When the hell did this come here? That's gross. That is freaking gross. So cry to um, Edward Scissorhands. Uh, E.T. Oi! I'm sure is it? Oh, see this painting? This painting is sort of crooked. God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. There we go. So this 
is the machine room key. Awesome. Uh, crime movies, where are I? Oh! Oh, it's back here now. Eww! Let's use it in the machine room just to have a look and see. E.T. Edward Scissorhands, Heaven and Earth. Oof, girl interrupted. Hell. Beauty and the Beast. what we have in here. Well, this is certainly bigger than one would expect. Isn't it? See if we can find. <laughs> Would you? I like the design of it um, visually, but would you really build something this way? I think not. Me thinks not. And I basically cried f at uh, seeing uh, the Phantom Menace in theatres because it was so shite. I cried tears of blood and pain and anguish for humanity. Such a horrendous movie. Ah, another one behind there, if I can reach it. I can't. There we go. Ooh, Jesus Christ, I'm going insane! Get me into the light! Get me out of here, <laughs> I'm stuck on the... Oh, brilliant. I'm stuck in the... Ugh. Finally. 38 of those. Not bad. And I panicked used some before and still I have a few left so that's good. Okay. Let's uh, read this note then. See if we get any wiser from it. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucica, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Oh, but you are, Daniel. With all these... Cursed things that you have forced upon others. You are responsible. My good man. Creepy sounds. Creepy sound alert. Where am I? Where am I supposed to go and hide if there's there's lit? 
Well, there can't be around here because it's lit everywhere. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Seems quiet enough. I gotta remember to close the doors behind me. In case I hear something. I seem to be hearing things all the time now. It's just my imagination and a very good game sound design. Okay, so here's the bit of part of the puzzles. Let's read this one first.